Egyptian gods are some of the most fascinating and are shrouded in an almost magical mystery. But what if we still believed in them today? What if they were real? Hello and welcome back to Life's Biggest Questions. I'm your host Rebecca Felgate, and today I'm asking what if the Egyptian gods were real? Before we get into this video, I want to hear from you. Let me know what you think life would be like if the gods of ancient Egypt walked among us. Also, please do hit that thumbs up button if you enjoy our questions. So, the Egyptian gods had their heyday thousands of years ago as the civilization of ancient Egypt flourished. Then buried for millennia, these days people learn about the gods through history. But what if they made a resurgence, and we came to the realization that actually, they are real? Well, first thing is first, we would need to adjust our beliefs on the beginning of the universe. It is thought that the universe was born out of a watery mass of deep nothing and life sprang forth from it, calling the abyss itself none. In Egyptian mythology, like with many other ancient religions, there is not just one god, there are many. The god of creation that we can thank for our mortal coil would be Ptah who is said to have breathed life into the earth. I guess if he was real and available for chats, we could find out the answer to the alien question by asking him whether he saved that life giving breath for earth, or whether he breathed on any other big rocks. If the Egyptian gods were real, perhaps we would treat animals with a little more respect. Gods Horus and Toth have the heads of birds, goddess Hathor is a cow, whilst Tawat is a hippo goddess. What this means for half human half animal breeds in the realms of reproductive possibility? Who knows? Speaking of animals, if the Egyptian gods were real, cats would rule the school, nay, the world. Who run the world? Cats. The ancient Egyptians domesticated cats and celebrated felines for their godlike awesomeness. The punishment for killing a cat in ancient Egypt was death by stabbing. So it wouldn't be long these days before the world found the lady who put the cat in the bin and mounted her head on a spike. All households would probably have a resident cat, which means the population of mice and rats would deteriorate, although fleas might well be on the up. If the Egyptian gods were real, we would need to accept that both chaos and order are out of our mortal hands. Hands. Seth is the god for chaos, violence, deserts, and storms, and you don't want to get on the wrong side of him, as allegedly he killed the Egyptian lord of the underworld, Osiris. If gods are going around fighting and killing other gods, would we humans be spurred on to follow their example? Would world peace be out of the window? I wonder what Seth would think to nukes. Would he like them? I guess. But of course, as the Egyptians were about balance, there is a goddess of order. We would all be praying to Matt to end the madness. If we thought that natural disasters were a pain to deal with now, they would be much worse when the Egyptian gods came to town. The ancient Egyptians were known for their struggles with plague, floods, fires, and general pestilence problems. Pesky, pesky pestilence. In ancient Egyptian literature, it seems that many of the gods ruled earthly kingdoms, and it is possible that they may wish to return to that way of life. Step down Trump, Merkel, May, Trudeau, Jong, and Jinping, Amon, ruler of Thebes, may be once again back in town looking to regain his influence. Building from that, if the Egyptian gods were real, where would this leave the modern day stronghold of political power? Would we see a shift from the west back to the east? Would the arrival of Egyptian gods mean that Egypt was the new superpower? Questions, questions. Musing on the problems in the east, I wonder how the Egyptian god Isis would feel about the jihadi terror cell using her name. Hopefully, she would come down hard on those murderous beheaders. Of course, if the Egyptian gods were real, our funeral arrangements would be a touch different. We would see an upturn in mummifications, and the billionaires of the world would be investing in their own pyramids. How the other half live. The Egyptian gods were historically appeased by offerings and rituals, so we'd need to clear time in our schedules for a few sacrifices and some scheduled praising. Sounds kind of like exhausting, actually. Sure, we just spent a few minutes talking about what would happen if the Egyptian gods were real, but really, we could have just watched the Gods of Egypt trailer. Let's hope the reality of the second coming gets more than 15% on Rotten Tomatoes. Nobody wants divine intervention to be an absolute snooze fest. So, we've had a little delve into what life would be like if the Egyptian gods were real, but I want to know what you think. Let me know in the comments section down below. Also, please do hit that thumbs up button and stay subscribed for more answers. I'm your host, Rebecca Felgate. I'll catch you in the next video, but for now, stay curious, stay alert, and never ever stop questioning.